Hey friends, this is Atif Opier. Well and welcome to the new update on Stellar. As in my earlier video, I was showing you that after breaking out a parallel channel, the prior sign of Stellar was retesting the previous resistance of the channel as a support. And this was the video, by the way. And I was telling you that now after this retest, there is a probability that Stellar may start another uh, move to the upside. And now if we take a look at the live chart, then after retesting the previous resistance of the channel as a support, it is geared up. And in today's video, we will once again take a look at this move. And I would also like to share with you my most recent trade signal for Stellar that I shared for, uh, with my members a few days back on 7th of May 2023. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis. And first of all, let me begin with my most recent trade signal for Stellar. That was a harmonic bullish reversal bad move that Stellar was completing. In fact, it completed the lag here and it was slightly moved up. Therefore, I told my members that we can wait for the price line to re-enter after some price correction inside the buying zone. And then we can buy it from this buying zone that was starting from 9 cents and goes to 8.7 cents. And if I play this chart, then you can see that the price line dropped more down, completed the leg here, entered the buying zone, and now it is geared up. And I'm expecting that soon it will hit the sell target zone as well. And by the way, before this, I shared this harmonic bullish reversal regardless setup that was formed on the four hour time frame chart with US dollar pair. And I shared this, uh, this idea on 18th of April 2023. And after playing the chart, you can see that the price line uh, started a nice reversal. And after hitting the sell target zone again, moved down, then Again, read the sell targets on here. Then we had extreme sell off. Now let's move to the chart. And this is the four hour time frame chart, by the way. And here previously we were moving inside this uh, parallel channel. And I was telling you that there is an inverse head and shoulder pattern formation. And at the same time, it was also moving inside this channel as well. Uh, and after the formation of, it, of this inverse head and shoulder pattern, I was telling you that once it will be able to break out the neckline of this inverse head and shoulder pattern, this downtrend line resistance, uh, it will imminently break out the resistance of the channel as well. And you can see that it broke out the resistance of the neckline of this inverse head and shoulder pattern. And soon it also broke out the resistance of the channel as well. The target, by the way, for this breakout from the channel uh, was slightly higher than the target of the head and shoulder. Uh, the target was here at 9.26 cents. And you can see that price line has moved up to 9.31 cents. Now let's move to the weekly time frame chart. And here we can see that Stellar has already broken out a very, very big falling wedge pattern. And after the breakout, it formed another rising wedge pattern and it was testing the support of this rising wedge. It is in fact testing the support for the past three or four weeks. You can see it is moving at this support. Uh, here we had a bounce, we had another bounce here, and there can be another bounce after breaking out this parallel channel. Now I'm expecting that soon it may start another bounce from this support of the wedge. This time the resistance of the wedge will be somewhere here, approximately at 11.7 cents. But before that, we also have a quite long term resistance of 10 cents as well. And let me show you this resistance. And if we take a look at the previous history of 10 cents resistance, then you can see. Uh, previously here it was working as a resistance and here for a very long time uh, time period it has been working as a support and before that uh, here it was working as a support and support and here support and resistance therefore again it will be uh, difficult for the price line to break out this resistance of 10 cents but once it will be able to break out this resistance then imminently it can move up to the resistance of the channel and once it will be able to break out this resistance of the uh, not the channel of a rising wedge pattern. Then after the breakout, the target will be here. That will be exactly at this uh, very long term resistance of 16.2 cents. Now, if we take a look at the final target for this huge breakout from this falling wedge pattern that can be here at the top of the wedge that is between 80 cents to one dollar. So this was the update so far. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you and you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.